well, hello and welcome to Dairy Comics and today we will take a look at a current page I'm drawing um, or should I say pages um, this is a big splash page for the last pickup artist issue 3 uh, before I go into this uh, let me tell you I had to take two weeks of vacation. I didn't go anywhere. I kinda just regenerated myself. Um, COVID and the last year had killed somehow my digestive system and somehow I was losing weight and didn't feel very fit in my head and everything. But I'm now all right. I just went swimming um, in the sun and regenerated a bit of myself and looked into healthy foods, eating warm, cooked food, healthy th stuff. Because during lockdown, when I couldn't move, I was eating a lot of junk to compensate, um, to kind of cope with a situation and it made me sick. Maybe something like SIBO or something like this, but, uh, and then fructose intolerance. But now I'm going again upward. Then uh, I saw a man die, a friend of mine died in front of my eyes and all that um, added to this. And this plays really nicely into the comic I'm drawing because um, the last pickup artist is about picking up chicks. But the reason why we got into all of this is because we are traumatized. So that's my my theory. Because if you w wouldn't be tra traumatized, you just would be like a happy fellow, just going your way, being strong. And if you're strong and happy and create your life, and you know what I mean, you're just, ah, oh, just so juicy. You don't need no pickup stuff. <laughs> so... And then this is not just about traumatized people. This is about a world and a system that it's worldwide and it's traumatizing people. And I guess the root cause lies in the, wor in the system we work, the system we live, the family system. But this we will go into different comics. This is just the last pickup artist. And I'm not just rambling, this is really important stuff. So the reason we are sick and the reason we are traumatized and unhappy often lies in our childhood and the negative molds the positive. So you experience what you don't want and what needs to be done so you can go in this world and become what you want to become and heal that stuff. And in the last two weeks I was thinking a lot about how I worked um, jobs I didn't work, uh, want to work, and that burned me out. How I lived a life I didn't really want to work, uh, uh, want want to live, and how you're always forced into positions you really don't want to do. And in the last pickup artist three, we look into three people and into three childhood traumas. I'm uh, spoiling a bit, but when you get the comic, then you'll experience for yourself. And we have seen Donald Trump, which I don't want to bash, but I got I guess he's narcissistic, and um, like if this is your spirit and it's united, every time something is shamed from you, um, you create a split, and so it's not one stream going this way, it's multiple streams, and so if I have a, a, a split, so let's say this this t this um, part of me was hurt all my life. And it's learned that it's better to be shy than hurt. And this wants the girl. So I pull in this direction, but this is pulling in that direction. So I'm swimming. I'm not going into one stream and one direction. I'm I'm split. And this is what this comic is about. And um, then in the next pages, we will see my split when my father died and how that leads to a lot of coping because you lose a person you lose um, love you lose financial security 
your mother is stressed out because she has to raise children like it's just one person and and two persons i i see buddies of mine raising children and they have a woman and then that's the man and they are already tired from two to three children or already one so in a different comic which will be called red has mustache we will see that the structure we have the family structure we have sets us up for disaster and if we had different structures where um, where it's all for one and, and one for all which is not the case and that is leading to the suffering in our world <laughs> because if you had support if you had time to rest if you had guidance in your life which is really good guidance you could live a better life it's just that simple And you can argue that with me back and forth. I just have seen too much in my life. And 36 year olds, I'm not too young, I'm not too old, but I'm not stupid. I'm a storyteller and I can see problems. And when I have the problems, I can solve the problems. And this is my solution. This is one of my solutions. This is my comics, are my comics. So if you want to support me on Patreon, you're supporting entertainment, kick-ass drawings. And this is my medicine for the world of course it's not my only medicine but it's one of my main medicines so you can recognize the dysfunction in yourself and then act differently so what were, are we looking here this is a page where jeff allen is a favorite pickup artist of mine and so he says he was a just a little happy straight a honor student he was doing good in school and then at an awkward family dinner which will be here the, the cops kicked in the door and then here you can't can you see the blue lines you can't but there are blue lines here and then the police kicks in the door and the storm it and then police go 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 put your hands up heads behind your head and then they arrest his father and he goes from this idyllic family life this panel i stole from american beauty <laughs> which is a good movie um and then jeff allen says he was from then living basically in a living hell and he felt like he was burning this is probably his anger um or disappointment or or, or he, he always says the, the rock was pulled out from under his feet and um Yeah, I believe him. Like this is what it feels. It's it's like you're uprooted from life. And from them on you're on your own and life sucks and you know, you 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 thought you had security and a normal life and life is already harsh enough. But then he was on his own. And in the comic, I guess he's one that maybe overcame the 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 trauma he suffered to a certain degree where he can live life I, i'm not fully sure because who knows um but you don't have to be an enlightened being you just have to work sometimes through some issues in the in the in the past and then um digest it and then let it go and i guess that is where we're all life we, we we can't really digest the past we can't digest the present then we create all kinds of illnesses in the now and we cannot let go we cannot digest we cannot go further into the future because we're broken and separated and so we need to heal so if you think this is like uh, really spiritual and stuff it is but if you think it's also kick ass and it will go in the direction of all the favorite comics you have it is too it is a lot of things and it's good that it is because this is what i am i am a lot of things i'm a diamond and i have many facets and this is my calling and i will follow it so till the next video i see you and post down below any questions you want i'm able i will answer that and yeah till the next video